Good morning viewers. Welcome to Food, Nature and Relationships. Today I am going to talk about Blue Lotus or Blue Water Lily. It is a sacred flower in India and in many parts of the world and it denotes the universe. Now it is the national flower of India as well. The scientific name is Nymphia carulia and other names are sacred Egyptian water lily or cape lily. In India and in many parts of the world, lotus and water lilies are considered as a sacred plant and a sacred flower. In Hinduism, it is regarded as the most sacred flower and specially it is known as Neel Kamal in Hindi. Water lilies are also associated with sun as they are the center of the universe and it is believed that in many Indian traditions, blue lotus has uh, many sacred meanings. According to the Buddhist mythology, it is the symbol of victory of spirit over the senses and it also symbolizes knowledge and wisdom. Blue lotus or water lilies are very popular in aromatherapy. Do you know that many essential oils are made from lotus and especially water lilies? And the blue variety is a rare and very common. It is found in India as well. Okay, so uh, the thing is that it relieves body pain. It uh, relieves stress. And sometimes it is very euphoric. So for a good night's sleep, you can have this oil. This aquatic plant is very useful and the whole part of the plant is very useful. Have you heard of tea made up from blue lotus? Yes, you heard it right. Blue lotus tea is available in the market and you can buy it and you can make a cup of tea to relieve your stress, to relieve your senses. Also, it boosts memory and give you a good sexual desire and power also so let us look you know some of the, the lotus medicinal, medicinal uses, uses it. are it is very effective in diarrhea premature ejaculations maintains body temperature positive mood apart from this it is also very helpful in uh, easing the menstrual cramps in women and also for virility and youthfulness good skin blue lotus is very good for your skin as well it has anti-cancer properties it has so many useful properties you know but at the same time there are some side effects too if taken in high doses then it can be lethal it acts like a drug so the FDA has not approved the legal use of using it in a very high quantity because it acts like a drug okay but in lower doses lower quantities it can be even mixed with wine it can be mixed with tea or milk and it can be taken it can give you energy I mean it is both it relieves you, gives you good sleep and it also effective in, it is very effective in uh, making you alert as well to boost your memory as well. But pregnant women should avoid it. The mild herbal tea is very effective. I'll give you the recipe how to make it. But uh, it should not be consumed with the painkillers because it may cause nausea, vomiting and dizziness. So, uh, there are some good qualities as well as some bad qualities. 
but overall lotus is very good it is very pleasing to eyes and senses and uh, according to ancient egyptians it is uh, op uh, very important for opening your mind for the spiritual bending so for the one who seeks for meditation and bending so they can opt for blue water lily because it gives you a different type of euphoria hallucination and it also is very so you can go through all this summary that blue lotus flowers are known to be sedative and stimulating and it can be a potent remedy for depression and anxiety and it can be burnt or uh, uh, burnt to give you lucid dreams okay so here you can get the jar of uh, or any perfume of uh, blue lotus in the market okay there are some juices also available so you can also buy them see some ice cream milkshakes are also available for kids so i'm a strong supporter of adding edible flowers into your daily diet as it is very good for your skin your health your overall development it reduces body weight okay so but you should also know that you should take it in a lower quantity and you can have the maximum benefit out of it you can dry the flowers or the dried versions are available in the market and you can store it in mason jars and you can uh, drink it with your regular tea or even with coffee sometimes okay so i think hope you guys and gals everyone has liked the video share it as much as you can and i promise you to bring more useful information related to nature relationships and of course food in my next segment okay my name is pailaron and i i am an author a writer website writer a blogger okay i am a mother of two kids a doting wife as well and i promise you to bring beautiful content in this and beautiful things related to nature that can be of benefit okay like and subscribe keep smiling always care for your health and stay alert bye bye take care like and subscribe to food nature and relationships In my next videos I will come with more edible flowers uses and I will also talk about different nature things that are beneficial for us and also about food and relationships so stay tuned bye bye